President Trump's order allowing state and local governments to refuse refugees has been blocked. The injunction came down today just days before the deadline for states to opt in or out of this plan. Governor Kemp still had not said if his office had made a decision. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said his state would no longer accept new refugees. Our Elwin Lopez explains how refugee resettlement differs from the crisis at the border. In September, the Trump administration announced it would only receive 18,000 refugees in the 2020 fiscal year. Now that's a record low since the Refugee Act in 1980. President Trump also signed an executive order stating cities and states have to give their written consent to allow refugees. So what is a refugee? It's not those coming through the U.S.-Mexico border and sometimes being held in detention. A refugee seeks international protection, goes through a lengthy legal process before coming to the United States. The top refugees that we received in Georgia were from the Congo, uh, from Afghanistan, uh, from Iraq, from Burma. You know, places around the world where people have been persecuted because of their religion, their identity, uh, who they love, um, and can literally cannot return home for fear of of death. Asylum seekers, on the other hand, need to be physically in the United States and show that they have credible fear of returning to their home country to be granted asylum. Now, the majority of UNHCR refugees came from Syria, Afghanistan, and South Sudan. Before a federal judge halted Trump's order, more than 40 governors opted in. Several states, including Georgia, had not yet made a decision, and Texas was the first and only state to opt out.